G'day guys, Greg here. Well today I was going to show you how to make some Aussie style oatmeal cookies with raisins. Now I had a craving for these last night but I thought no I've got to hold off until today to make these so I can show you guys how to make them. So anyway, let's get into it. So here's all the ingredients you'll need. I'll leave them in the list down below in the show more bar but I'll say the measurements along the way as I'm making the cookies. Rightio, well I'm gagging for these cookies now, so let's get into it. Rightio, so the first thing, as per usual, preheat the oven to 160, 320 Fahrenheit. Right, well let's get into this. One cup of rolled oats. One cup of plain flour. Three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar! Three quarters of a cup of your desiccated coconut. And I'm gonna go, oh, pretty much a whole cup of raisins or sultanas, maybe a little bit less. We're just gonna mix that through. Now I also need 125 grams of butter. Butter, yum, oh. Which I'll just chop up and stick into a bowl with my two tablespoons of this golden syrup. AKA treacle or corn syrup, I think you guys in the States might call it. And now I'm just gonna microwave that for about a minute and 20 because I really want it to get warm and melt really hard. Right, and so now when that's still really warm, I want to add my half teaspoon of baking powder in there and give that a real whisk. And you might notice that it frothes up a tiny bit. And now we just add that to our dry mix there and we just combine that. Now some oatmeal might absorb the butter a lot more than another one. So if it does, just add a little bit more butter to it because you want it so you can compact it up into shapes on your baking tray. Okay so now I've got it to the stage where I can compact it together into a ball and it sticks. I'll put some parchment or baking paper onto a tray and I'm just going to roll these up like I just did before and these won't really spread out so you just flatten them down. So roll them up and squish them down. Alrighty, so now these just go into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. 12 if you want them a bit softer, and 15 if you want them a bit harder. I'm going the full 15 minutes for these ones. Alrighty, well the time has just gone off, so let's get these out and have a look. Oh, boy! Nom, 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 nom! Yum! Oh! They smell absolutely delicious. So I'll just let those cool down a bit before I transfer them to a cooling rack and then I'll tuck on in for a taste test. Alrighty, well there's some of those delicious Australian style oatmeal raisin cookies I just whipped up. They smell absolutely incredible and I just can't wait to tuck on in. So, it's time for the taste test. Right, well, let's tuck on in. Oh, yum. Mmm. Oh. 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 Absolutamente tan rico. If you've always wanted a piece of Aussie inside you, whack one of those down your gob. Anyway, guys, I hope that recipe turns out for you. Thanks for watching. Remember to give this video some thumb and love. And I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh, yeah. This is Greg's Kitchen. Great today. Currants, or sultanas, or raisins, whatever you call them. They're delicious.